configured with VCL and if you can't achieve what you want in VCL there is inline C now inline C wasn't really designed to be used it was more of an sort of an emergency escape hatch varnish 3.0 changes this with its module support Christian is going to tell a bit more on how modules work so Christian how are the modes different VMODs give you a uh, well-defined environment to, uh, to develop in. You get c fairly clean uh, APIs and uh, for instance if you need to write a, um, some logic to, to first do cryptographic uh, verification of, of the client data and then you might need to check against uh, your business logic if that client is even allowed to, to request the content it requested. You can now write that in um, those pieces in different VMODs, and if you need to, you can change uh, change them out uh, independently without having to refactor your entire code base. Um, and um, that's uh, quite different from from inline C, where everything is much more tied together and uh, glued into your VCL very uh, tightly. Is it hard to uh, to connect to external data sources? No, you can. Um, it's as hard as the data source makes it. Uh, if you're comf uh, comfortable with C, it's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. Cool. So, uh, be most hard to write? Uh, not at not at all. Uh, you can. Um, if you use our example VMOD, you can easily sit down and, and learn most of what you need to know about VMODs in an hour or two if you're an experienced C programmer. It will take you some more time to actually use that experience because you'll need to know uh, what Varnish does with it, so it depends on your experience with Varnish too. But you can make something functional within a couple hours if you're an experienced developer. Thank you.